everything that LaMarcus accomplished in San Antonio, he could have did the same, if not more, with Damian Lillard and the Portland Trailblazers. LaMarcus left Portland when Dame was well on his way to becoming a superstar. Dame wasn't there just yet. He's shown flashes. He'd had 20 point per game seasons. He looked great, but he wasn't a superstar. My point is he was still ascending. The Portland Trailblazers still had a ton of promise. LaMarcus leaving was a shocking move to me, but I do understand it. LaMarcus wanted to win and the Spurs have a history of doing just that, winning. It's not often you find a coach as great as Pop. All of the times we see coaches be great for a season or two and then fall off. I can't tell you guys how many times I've heard a fan base proclaim that they have the next great coach only to have that same fan base turn on the same coach, not even years later. My point to you guys is that consistent coaches and stable situations in the NBA can be incredibly tough to come by. So I understand why LaMarcus made that trip to San Antonio. But sometimes I wonder what would have happened if he never did. Before we go any further, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You will not want to miss another Get Like Coop video. And that's facts. If you guys enjoy my content, the chances are you'll enjoy my streams. The link to my stream is going to be in the description below. In that same description, you'll find the link to my NFL channel, which if you like NFL football, I would strongly advise you to check out. I feel like this LaMarcus Aldridge news is much more of a shock to me than it is to actual Spurs fans. I know LaMarcus hasn't been the greatest player on the planet this season, but I do think LaMarcus has a lot left to offer. That being said, I'm not sure how the San Antonio Spurs can trade this guy. I'm going to get into that in just a second, but before we go beyond that, we have to talk about the actual news. So LaMarcus Aldridge and the San Antonio Spurs have agreed to mutually go separate ways. That's coming straight from Bleacher Report. And honestly, this came straight from Pop's mouth. I know I've said, how often do you see this happen a lot? Look, I know I've said it a lot, but how often do you see something like that happen in the NBA? where a coach openly speaks on a player being done with the team. A lot of times you'll hear teams deny being done with the player to drive up their trade value. If everybody knows you're trying to get rid of something, there's a good chance the value of what you're trying to get rid of is going to go down because people know you don't want it. They know you're going to get rid of it anyways, and they don't want to have to pay extra for something that they might be able to get for free. Now, of course, free is relative. If you snatch LaMarcus off the buyout market, it's not free. You still have to pay him, but it's free relative to you're not giving up any assets. LaMarcus Aldridge is demanding a salary of over $20 million per year, meaning that you're going to have to match close to $20 million if you're trying to trade for him. To trade for LaMarcus Aldridge, you're going to have to send out over $19 million in contracts. That's a lot of money, and the chances are 19 million could add up to a few players. So are you really going to want to give up a few players for a player averaging 14 points and four rebounds? Now look, a lot of times stats don't tell the full story, but a lot of times stats can help paint a clearer picture. I've watched LaMarcus and I've watched the Spurs play this season. LaMarcus hasn't been bad in any way, shape or form. Actually scratch that, he's been pretty bad on defense and the boards, but offensively, that's an entirely different story. Now there are already teams that have interest in LaMarcus Aldridge, and I think the interest is just going to continue to grow as rumors surrounding his buyout start to swirl. But before we talk about any teams interested in him and possible trade deals, we have to talk about Pop's statement about this entire situation. Quote, LaMarcus Aldridge is not with the team. He's healthy in that respect, but we've agreed to mutually work out some opportunities for him that'll be elsewhere. So he won't be with the team moving forward. He's been a great teammate. There was no problem there. We just think this is a win-win for both LaMarcus and the club. So when an opportunity arises, 
that'll be up to management, his agent, you know, that sort of thing. We'll all move forward. He's been a great teammate. He's done everything we've asked. And at this point, we just like to do something that will work for him as much as our club, end quote. Now, of course, naturally, I have a few questions like, was it LaMarcus Aldridge that wanted this change or was it the San Antonio Spurs? I know we see the word mutual, but yeah, I'm not buying all of that right now. The Spurs are currently in the hunt for the Western Conference playoffs. This is a team that has rallied and played inspired basketball. If LaMarcus was still playing like his old self, I seriously doubt the San Antonio Spurs would be open to trading him or buying him out which speaking about trades and buyouts, I wouldn't mind seeing LaMarcus end up in Philly via trade or via buyout. Philly has a situation at backup big that needs to be addressed. Dwight has a lot of promise, which is weird saying Dwight is like 35 plus years old, but he hasn't played his best basketball in Philly. He's left a lot to be desired. LaMarcus Aldridge, you know what you're going to get. You might not get elite defense, but you're going to get more offense and he's somebody that in a reduced role will give you quality minutes. Playing with a playmaker like Ben Simmons could do a lot for the final years of Aldridge's career. While a buyout is ideal, Philly also has a player that could make the LaMarcus Aldridge trade work. I'm looking at Danny Green. I know the Spurs don't necessarily need Green, but there's a possibility that if you get Green back with Pop, good things could happen so naturally there would need to be a little more than green included in the deal also so i mean yeah this whole lamarcus aldridge situation is tricky if he does get bought out like i said i like philly i like los angeles even though la already has montrez harrell marcus all i feel like lamarcus brings a different skill set to the table than those two now this one's interesting apparently the miami heat are interested in lamarcus aldridge let me know what you guys think about that down in the comments below and look Guys, I know a lot of people want LaMarcus to return to Portland, me too, but I'm not sure LaMarcus in Portland makes the most basketball sense. It's a logical move, but from a basketball standpoint, I feel like Portland really needs more defense. And I feel the same way for the Brooklyn Nets. It's going to be really interesting to see how this whole thing shakes out. Is there any possibility that this triggers a sell-off for the San Antonio Spurs if they go on a losing streak? Now, I'm not saying a LaMarcus trade would cause a losing streak. I'm just wondering how active the Spurs are going to be if the season does start to trend downward. There's some talent in this draft. And I think a DeRozan trade to Toronto or Los Angeles would be unreal. I know the chances of a move like that happening are virtually non-existent, but hey, I can dream, right? Clicking the video on the screen right now is a great way to support my channel. I'm Get Like Who, bringing you guys the scoop until our next upload.